Hello viewers, Foxman here, also known as Doobies and Beer on YouTube. Okay, today we're going to show you, we had a pretty good day on the lake today. I took uh, my wife Valerie and my sister Lisa out fishing and we limited out in some pickerel here. So what I'd like to do today is to demonstrate to you the way the Foxman cleans his walleye. So, for starters, what we do is we have some 40 Creek because we got to thank the fish gods for blessing you with the fish. That's my belief. Good drink, four cubes, big ones. Okay, today I'll be using the Rapala Super Grip and the Speedy Shark. A couple of passes. So, these are all nice size eater walleyes there. They're all around 14, 15 inch mark. Perfect eaters. So I start with a, doing back fins here and take it right down to the neck. I'll make a slit from the belly down to his pooper. Then I'll run my blade along the black bone here. And I won't cut it off. You see, I keep it on because then you got something to hang on to. Some people take it right off, but that's not my preference. I'm going to slide it off like that. We got a nice fillet here. Okay, so we'll do the same thing. Now, what I'd also like to point out is I'm using this yellow stuff here. It's a piece of vent tubing I got from the mine. I've never found anything better to clean fish on. What I'm doing here is I'm making a little slot by the tail here. It just makes it easier to come around to continue here. I'm going to do the same thing here. Get the meat off the skin here. Okay. There. Nothing left on that. This would have been worth to anybody. Okay, now that the fillets are off, what we want to do is we want to remove the rib cage. The rib cage here on both sides. Okay, before you do that, you thank the fish gods because you didn't cut your fingers while you were taking the fillets off. By the time you finish cleaning a pail full of fish like this here, and all your celebration with the fish gods, Everybody's really happy. Okay, so I was just riding along the rib cage here with my filleting knife. Just taking off the ribs. And see, that's just the rib cage here. There's not a whole lot to it. Now you're not finished with this fillet yet. If you feel right along here, there's a little bit of bone structure there. It's just a single line. So what you want to do is you want to come in here and take that little piece out. There you go. Now when you pass your fingers on this, you feel absolutely no bone. There's a completely boneless fillet that you could give to a baby. 
I have one more to do on the other side. The same thing, you're taking off the rib cage. You just peel underneath it with your filleting knife and then curl up and right along the edge of those bones. There's your rib cage gone. Now once again, you can feel here, you'll see there's a little bit of bone right here. We'll take that piece out and put it over here so you can see. There you go. Now you have one completely filleted walleye. Just needs to be washed. And she's ready for the pan. Now that we've finished cleaning the walleye, as I was mentioning with this vent tubing, I want to show just how good this stuff works. I have to remove the paraphernalia here. And once again, we thank the fish gods that we didn't cut our fingers. See, well, sometimes you might tip, so you got to be careful. At any rate, what's happening here? Let me show you how nice this is to work with. ready for the next walleye okay as you see there's many more to go uh, lots of thinking to do so thank you for watching and we hope you enjoyed it have a good day everybody and happy fishing